just wanted to share my uh, latest hobby. Um, you know, when I'm not out with my wraith, I uh, like to come down to my basement and make knives out of uh, you know, old rusty circular saw blades. So I just finished up a couple of uh, a couple knives. This particular one would be a you know hunting knife made with uh, you know four pieces of G10, one eighth inch hunter orange, and uh, I believe that's quarter inch olive drab green and black, which I uh, you know sculpted for nice you know finger fit for your hand. Also did some uh, file work and jibbing down the spine, which actually wraps all the way around to the fingers. And you can see uh, the handle's not fixed on this one. I just finished polishing it up today. And a nice mirror, well, almost mirror polish. Pretty close. I think that's 2,500 grit. Pretty good, you guys. So, just wanted to share that. I've got one I'm working on today, which is uh, actually a scrap knife. A little scrap piece of uh, saw blade steel, scrap piece of uh, antler, and the scrap G10 from this particular knife, as you can see. So, I just, just started fitting it. Not quite perfect, but hey, it's handmade. Nice little Warren Cliff blade. Decent plunge line, not too bad. This will be getting polished up. So, finish that up and show you guys. This one's really cool. This is a little fighting knife with a nice little uh, retention strap, which kind of uh, loops around like so if you don't want the knife to come out. Uh, keeps the knife from coming out, but. Uh, if you don't want the retention strap, you wrap around like that, and the blade just comes out as you wish. And this particular blade is really pretty cool. Little Tanto did some acid etching, and that handle is about an—I think it's about an inch thick. Three eighths toxic green and black, and one eighth uh, just orange and black. Did some more file work. Wraps all the way around. Pretty cool. Keeps me out of trouble. Let me know what you think.